It continues to develop in Italy, where the death toll sadly keeps rising after a devastating earthquake in the central part of the country. The government now says 120 people have been killed, but there are still so many more missing. Our Steve Garagiola has been tracking the latest developments as they come in, and Steve, just a horrible, horrible tragedy here. Well, it's mostly bad news coming out of the region, and it looks like the news will get worse as the days wear on. Uh, this afternoon, the mayor of Amatrice, which is in central Italy, said simply, our town is gone. At least 120 people killed, nearly 400 injured. The quake struck at 3.30 in the morning, leaving many with little or no chance to escape crumbling buildings. <laughs> Chaos and confusion marked the day in the town of Amatrice in central Italy, the epicenter of the devastating earthquake so powerful it was felt 100 miles away in Rome. With many buildings collapsed, Rescue workers continue to dig through rubble, hoping to reach people who may be trapped underneath. At least 120 people are confirmed dead, with that number likely to rise. An American traveler in Amatrice described the quake that hit at 3.30 in the morning. It woke us up. It felt like the bed was on rollers. We ran out to the main area where there's a big chandelier, and the chandelier was just swaying back and forth. And at that point, we knew, uh, you know, and just try to get out of the building as fast as we can. The mayor of that town has put out a call for rescue equipment, blood donations, and basic food and medicine for those who have survived. Seven years ago, an earthquake of comparable size devastated an area very nearby. The final death toll in that disaster was 300 lives lost. For now, the work continues as a rescue in a race against time before the grim job becomes an effort of recovery of those killed. You know, and this is not a major city, so they're not really equipped to handle this. The area is reached by winding mountain roads, so it's very difficult for rescuers with heavy equipment to respond. And part of the difficulty in knowing just how many people might still be trapped is the large number of vacationers known to be in the area for the final days of summer. So it's a sad story with a lot more sad information, I suspect, to come in the next few days. Devin, Kimberly.